What is up guys, Zach Scott here with a brand new Plants vs Zombies 2 video. This video showcases the Cold Snapdragon. Cold Snapdragons breathe icy mist into six adjacent tiles. Slows and damages zombies in the six tiles in front of it. Cold Snapdragon gets chilly when anyone brings up his cousin Snapdragon. We just view temperatures very differently, and I'd rather not discuss it, he says. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes indeed. I love the art style of the Cold Snapdragon. It looks really awesome. I'm glad they added it. It's a premium plant available now. It's not one of those $6.99 premium plants, though. It's $4.99. Uh, you can check it out. I'm going to showcase it right now across some eras in Plants vs. Zombies 2. Uh, first up, though, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and bring it into... Well, I, I don't know if I'm going to bring it into, but I'm going to play the pinata party. I don't know if, he, if he's going to be in here or not. He could be. Uh, I'm just playing a random pinata party today. Lots of stuff coming in. What do we have? Let's do this. Let's beat it. That's a guacodile right there. Another guacodile. Never smile at a guacodile. Uh, so I guess he's not here. So <laughs> that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to uh, take these guys on. Um, hopefully, ooh, I could I could see this becoming a, a little bit of an issue. That's okay. Here we go. Um, there we go. Yep. Send them all back if you can. Oh, oh gosh, I don't have anything here. Nicely placed. Don't have anything there though. That's a shame. Such a shame, isn't it? Agreed. Agree to disagree. Let's agree to agree for once. Here we go, send him back. Uh, I cannot lose another lawnmower like that. That would be a tremendous disappointment. All right, these guacodiles are good for like some quick combat, but, oh dear. Take him out quick, this is annoying. Yep, these are a lot more handy than, see I didn't know it was gonna rely so heavily on weasels. I'll be ready for it, I guess. Oh gosh, okay, hi. Yep, adios. Oh boy, oh boy. I was not ready for this at all. Oh my gosh. Send him back, please. Yeah, I lost that one big time. I'm sorry. All right, let's try that again. I do apologize, the zombies ate my brains. I'll retry. I do not know what happened there. That was just, um, mm. That was quite terrible on my part. Anyway, let's do this. Um, let's see what we got here. Sure, we're gonna be able to put these down here. Well, let's just knowing that they're they're gonna be like right here. Let's drop them down. All right, these are a little bit farther away. This will give a little more life to the guacodiles. And um. This will be a little bit of a buffer in case we need it. Looks like we're going to replace that one there. That's good. That's good. Yikes. All right. There we go. Okay. We, we have to worry about this again. Alright, thank you, thank you. Holy moly, okay, we are we just got rid of a bunch of guacodiles. Let's hope to bring these things back, am I right? Oh man. Okay, guacodile right there, good. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like what order does this even go in? We got one gems. I don't even know what to say. All right, we lost the lawnmower. We're gonna lose a lot more. Man, this is going fast. I did not realize how fast this was going. Man, you're really gonna eat both of those? I guess you have quite the appetite, do you not? Oh dear. Oh man, that was so prematurely placed. Well, 
Well, we are losing like everything. But we did it. There we go. Whack open three pinatas. Holy moly. New costume. What is that, like vampire ears? All right, well, there we go. So, yeah, uh, unfortunately, the um, <laughs> the uh, Colt Snapdragon was not featured in today's pinata party, but we got that out of the way, and now we're going to um, go ahead and... Oh, quest complete. What's complete about this quest? Jurassic Marsh 2 is coming out this uh, coming week, so that's cool. Try before you buy. I already bought it, but uh, we have some more challenges to do. That's fine. We'll get to them in no time. Uh, so, let's, let's start off simple with the Cold Snapdragon, and let's, uh, take it to a Ancient Egypt stage, and, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, this is, uh, day 22 of the Ancient Egypt, and, uh, this is a stage I like to try out. Never have more than 15 plants. Survive without planting on Dave's mold colonies. This would be a decent one to try out the, the Cold Snapdragon with. I kind of want to bring them both in, just so you can kind of see them side by side, and then I'll probably never use the fire one, because the fire and ice aren't going to mix... And uh, they, you know, they'd rather, rather, rather not talk about it anyway. <laughs> they just view temperatures differently. You know how it goes. Uh, but since this is a cold item, uh, I think it's going to be a great opportunity to bring in, um, you know, some of these some of these heavy hitting cold items uh, right here. Uh, we could go all out, all cold. Everything would be good. And let's see how this happens. Let's see how this works. Uh, the cold snapdragon here. Um, and we have the regular Snapdragon here who's wearing a fire hat, which is really cool, and a power lily, sure. Oh, I forgot the Grave Buster. That's okay. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it just fine. Um, so, how do we want to handle this? I'm going to start putting out uh, the, the twin sunflowers up front. And we'll kind of see the difference here, I think. Um, this is one thing that I kind of wanted to show off. Let's start, with, let's start with the hot one first. Well, what should we... Let, let's go ahead and freeze them. Let's start planting some stuff for the economy first. Uh, I'll put that here just to take care of the, the graves. Don't worry, I won't forget to dig that up. Dig that up. Here we go. Don't worry, we're going to freeze that guy down there. Up. Oh, still haven't patched that. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're going to freeze him. Now, this guy... Let's see. So he does damage, not just... He damages like a 9, a 3x3 three three area. And that's really intriguing to me because uh, the cold snapdragon said it was a, uh, you know, said it was something a little bit different. Let's put them side by side in a second. Hold up. Uh, cold snapdragon. No, he, he does damage to the top grave too. Okay, cool. I was worried about it. We got fire and ice mixing. There's what they look like side by side in case you were curious. I'm going to go ahead and just freeze him. He's doing the damage pretty well. It looks like. Let's dig this guy up because we're going to want to put in some more cold snap dragons. There we go. We can only have so many plants. That looks like a good place for one, right? Let's bring in another one. There we go. Let's see what his super looks like. Oh wow, he's got the wings. Now that went, it seemed to go in front. Let's see how much in front that actually goes. Uh, we could try one way back here. Here, let's get a, let's do this. Let's get a super going. Let's try one way back here. How far does that go in front of him? All right, that goes three by three in front. That's pretty cool. How does that compare though to the other guy? I don't know yet. All right. Okay. Hold on now. Let's just dig him up. We got a lot of stuff going on here, don't we? I'm really curious. Let's dig him up really quick. Let's bring out the fire one. Is he is he a whole nine by nine too, or is he? Yeah, he is. Okay, so they're similar. They're, it's an analog there, except the cold snap dragon happens to slow them down. Now, in terms of damage, I don't know. I'd have to see side by side. Things are looking good, though. We're getting a lot done here. Oh, yeah, I'm limited on my plants. So this is all the plants I'm allowed to have right now. And that's fine with me. Let's utilize this. Boom. Did we get them? So, yeah, we, we did a lot of damage there. 
It's a lot quicker of an animation than the, uh, you know, here we go. Boom, destroyed. So the Colt Snapdragon, I mean, the thing I like most about it is that it slows it down and it's as basically as a Snapdragon that'll work with uh, your your other, other plants. Because sometimes, you know, if I want to bring in a Snapdragon, he's not going to be as fun. Well, I can't even show it. Look, but if I wanted to, wanted to bring him in, there they are side by side. Look at that. Look at that overlay. If I wanted to bring them in, you know, if I wanted to bring a regular Snapdragon into a battle, that means I can't bring in the Winter Melon. That means I can't bring in these guys. It's, that means this guy is going to be even less useful. Oh, boy. He's going to get hurt. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to utilize this. I'm going to drop. Oh, man. What do I do? Put him there. Put him there. We're doing it. Yeah, dig that up. You're welcome. And we'll use this. Boom! Man, that's a quick one. I like how quick that is. So yeah, that's why I like the cold Snapdragon. He's like the Snapdragon, but he can handle the cold. And uh, so that's really cool. That's really cool. I like having that a lot now. In fact, that's going to make everything a lot easier on stages that would benefit from the Snapdragon. You know, the cold Snapdragon is going to make things a little bit easier because he's going to slow him down. It's going to let me use my, my winter melons, all that stuff. So let's continue onward. The question that's always on my mind when I showcase a new plant and everyone who watches my videos on the Zach Scott Games channel, especially my, my premium plant showcases that I do for Plants vs. Zombies 2, you know that I like taking it into the Pirate Seas, all the new plants into the Pirate Seas. And uh, basically, there's a particular level here that I do. Uh, I want to see, I, I kind of deem it a good automatic farming farming level. Someone showed me that on Twitter once. And I think it is, is it 21, 23, which one is it? 20, is it 20? 22, I think it's 22. I never remember these things. I have a bad memory, I guess. This is it. So we're gonna see if we can do this solely with, uh, with the Snapdragons, the cold Snapdragons. So let's go ahead and just bring those in. Uh, we'll throw in whatever else it, it thinks we need to. Some of these things are boosted, though, so I don't necessarily want to bring those in. I don't want to waste a boost. Doesn't matter what I bring in. There we go. Let's rock with this. Nothing's boosted, is it? Good. And we're going to put the cold snapdragon all over the place. Here we go. And he's shivering a little bit. He looks a little bit cold. Uh, anyway, so that, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just do this. And obviously, he's not going to have the reach to reach those cannons. Uh, so we're gonna see if he's able to take on those imps just fine or what, you know? All right, that's gonna be our layout. <laughs> he just sneezed. Uh, so let's let's rock with this and see how this works. We're gonna fast forward, let these imps come in. Now, obviously, you know, I, I'm not gonna be able to take out those cannons, unfortunately, so we're just gonna have to let those sit there. And we're gonna have to just deal with it. Nice, nice. All right. Here we go. So far, so good. These guys are doing a good job. Uh, we just gotta see now. I'm trying to listen for any sort of, yeah, these, man, these guys get taken out quickly sometimes. This is pretty good. All right, got a coin. Oh my gosh. All right, this is where it might get tough. It might get tough. They're all still alive, holy moly. I mean, this has the benefit of slowing them down. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Uh, we might last all the way through. I don't know. Let's find out. All right. Decent. Okay, now this is... Okay, we got another thing to worry about. Oh, man. We're still kicking. This is, this is pretty decent. Here we go. Man, 
man, these these are taking good care. This would be like a good like if you're just interested in picking up a few coins, like there's a coin right there, or maybe like a like some gems and you don't want to do much work, just send them out like this. Perfect. This is good. Watch out, yikes. Wow, so that handled it just fine. It's a bit surprising to me. Um, so that's really cool. That's really, really cool. All right, well now you know. And look, he's shivering and he's sneezing. And uh, yeah, defeat 62 more swashbuckler zombies. That would be a decent stage to do it on if I wanted to just grind that out, I guess. I think, those are, those are called swashbuckler zombies, right? The ones that just flew in there. Anyway, um, so that's really cool. Uh, we're learning more and more about the cold snapdragon. Where else should we bring this in? Um, there are some stages I think that would be really, really good to bring them in, but I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what other eras should we showcase? Because I don't know that I need to take this particular one into all the eras. Uh, I'm trying to think, you know, I, it's always a kind of an iffy thing where sometimes it feels right, sometimes it, it doesn't, but there's almost always something that I find out when I do this. So let's bring them into the Wild West and uh, we'll find out what's going to make this good or bad. Uh, what stage? What stage in the Wild West do I often do? Is it 23, 21? I don't know. I don't want any like arbitrary rules, but sometimes that is just how it goes. Uh, this one is don't lose more than one plant. Don't let the zombies trample the flowers. Okay, I can try that out. I can try this out, and this could be very, very dicey, but we're going to we're gonna do what we can. Uh, I'm going to bring... Yeah, so I'm not going to bring in anything that, you know, I could easily lose. I'm going to try to bring in as much as I can here. We're gonna try to not use lightning as well, but I guess, you know what, I shouldn't, shouldn't risk it. I should go ahead and bring in the lightning, just in case, right? Don't lose more than one plant, so. I don't even know what to, know what to say right now, but this looks okay. Um, primal pea shooter could be cool. Uh, see, I just don't know. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to bring in. Whatever, I'll just do this, let's rock. This is so unlike me. Okay, let's go ahead. Anyway, so we, we're gonna need, we could rely on the mushrooms, I guess. Let's rely on those mushrooms. All right. Hello. Slows everything down, which is good. Let's see how we can do with this, you know? All right, he stopped him pretty good. I'm just worried that like I'll suddenly like lose like a bunch of these due to chickens eating me or something, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna try to go for uh I'm gonna try to put in these winter melons and I think it's gonna be very useful to do so. Just give me some time. There you go. All right, good stuff. I'm gonna big up one of these mushrooms, make it more mature, get our economy going faster so that I can do another winter melon. All right, good deal. So far, so good. And like I said, this kind of showcases the, the way that these things can combine. I'm really nervous about this though. I'm really nervous how this is gonna pan out. All right, how's this work? Are you gonna stop him? Oh, they, they stopped him quickly, nice! So like I said, we learn something like all the time. Here we go, let's just, what should I even do? 
Where are these guys gonna come from? Here we go, unleash. So I can't dig up these mushrooms to make room for more because it just won't work. Okay, good. There you go, good stuff, I guess. Good stuff. Please stop them soon. Please stop them now. All right, so far we haven't lost anyone. So far, oh my god, I'm nervous. What happens if these chickens just swarm them, you know? I don't know. I guess what I could do is I could start putting in more. There we go, that can't be too bad of a thing, right? I can put in more of these guys, a whole second row. I totally forgot, a whole second column, rather. I totally forgot about that possibility. There we go. Here we go. Okay. I'm nervous. What happens if these chickens swarm them too much? That's all I'm nervous about. I don't know why. Maybe I'm overthinking it, you know? All right, seems pretty good. Seems like we've done a good job here. Come on now. Oh, hey, we can, we can double up the, okay, there we go. Nice. Nice. Okay, you know, oftentimes I have a lot of problems with that stage, but with the cold snapdragon, not so much. So, wow. Very cool, very cool. And now we're gonna move into, um, let's see, I don't know, I don't know what to move into now. I don't know. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Well, the far future, obviously. We can bring him into the far future. I don't know that this would be an ideal situation for cold snapdragons or even regular snapdragons, but might as well bring him into the far future. There's a particular stage I like where I can go all out, and uh, that's the one I want to do. Is it 21? Let's find out. Let's see if it's 21. I always forget this one. There's one that lets me make a ton of money, and I'm always happy about it. This is it. Produce at least a lot of money and never have more than 16 plants. I think that should be fine. All right. Uh, so yeah, we gotta produce a ton of money. That's true. In fact, I think we should go with the with this sun shrooms. Um, this will be good just to, for temporary stuff. Uh, here we go. There. Oh yeah, and by producing money, we're gonna want to imitate the power lily just to really get that stuff going. Um, the blover might be useful here because we're gonna have a lot of those air-based guys. Um, we got the cold snapdragon. We got pretty much everything that we need. Oh, where's the EM peach? We need to be able to disable some of these guys if we need to. And sh sure. Wait, wait, what was it? What was the challenge? Oh, it's never more than 16, so this will be good. Let's rock. We're pretty much only using, I just realized we're only using cold snap dragons, okay. Whoops. All right, that's my only attack except for the ghost, so we should be okay. Well, in the blover, I guess, would count as an attack, right? We're gonna make these mushrooms mature soon, I think. Are coming. And, uh, hello. Hello. All right. There you go. Good job, buddy. And uh, we're going to have a lot more help soon with this. Let's fast forward a little bit because I'm pretty much ready just to go all out. Hold up, though. We're going to have enough. We're going to have some. Uh, here we go. Hold on. We're, these guys are going to be ready. The power lilies are going to be ready. Then we can... Uh, Right, beautiful. We're making mushrooms. Here we go. And like we even slow down the flying guys, which is really cool. Goodbye. <laughs> all right, more money, please. Holy moly! Look at all this. Wow. 
wow, we are doing a lot of damage. More damage than I expected. Holy cow. Disable everything. Oh yeah, we've made enough money now. Oh man, I just realized this guy, what the heck? What are you doing here? I just realized he slipped through. Oh dear. This is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and go with a third column of the of these guys. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna probably get rid of like all my mushrooms to do so, because we produced enough of those plants. I only got rid of one of them. Whoops. There we go. We just have a lot. There we go. Slow down. Boom. Got one gems. Boom. Got him too. Final wave coming out. Alright, this is going to be some good stuff then, right? This looks like it. I can boost this. I can do this to those guys. Take that. Well, there we go. Uh, pretty good. Cold Snapdragon showing it some some serious promise right here. Um, I'm worried about a lot of things on the future levels, not the far future, but on these upcoming eras. Uh, I'm not so worried about Dark Ages, believe it or not. So let's see how Dark Ages does. I am worried about Big Wave Beach. Um, Frostbite Caves. I am worried about how it will affect it, if at all. There's a lot of things here. Let's go ahead and take it into the Dark Ages, and we'll see uh, how how we can do this. So, Dark Ages, you know what to do, right? We're going to take it into uh, level 16, which has like everything the Dark Ages has to offer. And we're going to bring it in. We're going to bring in the Cold Snapdragon, and hopefully we'll have some fun. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Mm. Well, we, we bring in these, the sun shrooms, of course. Uh, I think I'm going to bring in the Grave Buster this time. I'm trying to remember what all I, I did on these. Uh, the Grave Buster... Uh, maybe power... Do I bring in the power lily? I don't remember now. Uh, I think we rush out with mushrooms and grave busters. We could be okay. Um, let's bring out a couple of things that could help us if we need to. I'm trying to think what else we could need. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's try this. I'm a little worried, but let's try it. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, mushrooms going down. Mushrooms going down. Let's go and freeze this guy. All right. Uh, we, I hope we have enough money soon for a cold snapdragon. I'm gonna freeze him again. Uh, I need about two cold snapdragons ASAP. I mean, 
may not get him. Uh, not in time, at least. Come on, he's, he, yeah, there we go. Thank you. That's gonna help. I'm always worried about the start. Got him, good. And now, um, we're taking our time with this one, so. Okay, let's uh, brave bust here. Let's do this. There we go. Necromancy already. Nice. That took care of that quick. Excellent. I was happy to see that for sure. Excellent. What I like so much about this stage is it's just like a regular stage, you know? You don't have to worry about anything. I know, I know. We're gonna press forward a little bit. Boom! All right, the Dark Ages. Oh man, I should have totally saved it somehow. I don't know how I would have, but... Stop turning me into whatever. I maybe dug that up too early, but that's fine. Here, I'm gonna do this. Boom! Nice. It's a king killer, king slayer right there, right? Oh, wow. This is a great item. I just took out a king. Like, what else do you want from me? This is great. Cold snap dragons are one of the best premium plants that I've used in a long time, other than the grape shots, which I think uh, grape shots are great. Let's use them. Boom! Grape shot, see? Like I'm telling you. Look at this, look at this, this is wonderful. Look at that, beautiful work. Oh man, the wizard didn't quite come out yet. Don't worry, we'll get him out, there you go. Oh man, all right, here we go. I mean, we are just decimating this whole crew. I am not worried about Dark Ages now that I have the cold Snapdragon, holy moly. Boom! Goodbye, kings! Let's do it. One gems! We got him. What a beautiful stage. I'm gonna dig this up so we have symmetry. <laughs> Alright! Uh, well, guys, man. This cold snapdragon seems to be fairly useful. We got a few more eras to take him through, though. Holy moly, I can't believe it. That was beautiful stuff. That was Dark Ages Night 16, completely conquered thanks to the Cold Snapdragon and, oh, I defeated King Zombies and, of course, the Grape Shot. Oh, wow. Wow. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, well, so what do you want to do now? Because I want to I wanna keep on going. I want to take on some more of these guys. That was awesome. A quest complete to kill King Zombies, thankfully. There we go. All right. Still got some more zombies to take out. Don't worry. Um, so next era, uh, Big Wave Beach. Now, what do, what do I do with Big Wave Beach? You know, like, I don't know how I'm going to showcase. Cold, like, Cold Snapdragon may not be a good zombie to have in Big Wave Beach. That's just all there is to it. It may not be a good one. Not zombie. Uh, plant to have. I don't know though, so let's see what we got. Was 28 the one I wanted to do or the previous one? There was one I, I don't want to do. 
If it, is it the one like you can? Let's see what this what the stipulations are for level day twenty eight. Don't lose more than five plants. This is a really tough one. I don't know if this is the one I want to do, but we could try it out. Gonna bring in the, the sun shrooms, of course. I'm gonna bring in the things that I know I'm gonna need, maybe. Um, we're gonna need... Ah, I don't know. Let's try it without any sort of shield or whatever. See, I don't know what all I want to bring in. That's the thing. Let's imitate that mushroom. All right, we're bringing the star fruit because it's a classic that works really well here. Hmm. I am a little bit apprehensive about this because, you know, it could go wrong or not. I don't know. Mm. Let's see. What can we do? What can we do? Mm. Okay, I'm going to bring in... Again, I'm trying not to lose anything, but I'm going to bring in... Um... That just in case. I don't know if I'll need it. Yeah, I know Iceberg Lettuce counts as losing one. I don't plan on losing it, though. I plan on using it to boost. All right, we got the mushrooms here. We're planting a lot of mushrooms, guys. All right. Let's go with this. Right, this guy, this shouldn't be a problem. All right, this is a good. This does a good job at holding him back, I believe. Good job. I really should have gone for the stars in the first row. I don't know what I was thinking, but whatever. Let's see how we can do with the, the entire column of cold snapdragons. Let's go with the uh, star fruit next to, to really try to balance this stuff out. There we go. Just kind of chip away at their health a little bit. So far, I haven't lost anything. That's all right. So far, so good. Maybe, right? I don't know. All right. I don't know if this alternating row business is gonna work, but I'm trying it. You know. I'm gonna dig this up, put it here. Uh, freeze everything, because I don't know how to deal with those guys right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, great. Oh, great. Okay, I already lost like how many things I just oh wait, I dug up the mushrooms. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Oh Man, I was not oh my gosh. I was not that was not good. That was not good at all 
Oh no. So I totally messed that up, obviously. Okay, so what I need to do... Yeah, I don't know what to do right now. I'm gonna lose another one or something, aren't I? Oh dear. Okay, how does this? How are we even gonna reconcile this? Okay, let me plan better. I feel like I could do that stage. Let me plan a little bit better, though. Let's retry. Let me plan that better. I'm I'm happy to take on the same items. Uh, let me plan that better, cause I feel I feel dumb for doing that. Um. All right, I'm gonna leave a space open for those mushrooms. Hopefully, yeah, everything's good. Why? What is it? What are you missing out on? It? You forgot to imitate the. Okay, might as well take away the mushrooms. Bring in the banana again. Banana seem to be okay. We're gonna imitate the mushrooms. Sure, let's rock. All right, let's see how we can do. And keep in mind, I'm gonna try to keep some space open for mass freezings. All right. All right, this could be good. I feel like we're doing good right now. Um, okay, so what's going to happen is that... Um, Hopefully what's going to happen is that we're going to be able to deal with this very soon. Alright, I'm a little bit nervous what's going to happen with this guy right now, with this surfboard or whatever. Is he going to jab it through me now or is he... Yeah, okay, so I lost two plants there, all because of that guy. Oh my god, help. This could be unwise, but I'm going to try for it anyway. Oh dear, oh dear. Come on, don't, don't pull those over. I'm trying to be mindful of everything. These surfboard guys are coming through. And see, I've lost so many already. It's so unfortunate that I've lost so many already. Yeah. So, you know, I don't think cold snapdragons are really that amazing for this particular criteria of not losing plants. You know, if I... So, I don't know what to say about Big Way Beach. Big Way Beach is the one that I always have the hardest time with because it has, like, these criteria like that. I think cold snapdragon ultimately would be good in the Big Way Beach. It's just that, like, not losing plants is tough. Um, anyway... Especially when, you know, you have a couple of things that are destined to destroy plants. And by destined, I mean, like, take out two plants at once with a surfboard. 
I mean, how do you keep those guys away? It's it's tough. And I've done it. I've done that stage before, obviously, but not with Cold Snapdragon. I'd have to tinker around a little bit more. Uh, but you got to see the Cold Snapdragon in Big Wave Beach, so that's pretty good. Now, um, I'm curious about one thing, and it's something that I didn't even really think of. But can a froze can a frozen plant be frozen? And so I'm not going to be. Um, I'm probably not going to be completing a stage here, but I want to see. I want to take an, an advanced stage, and you know, I don't have to beat every single stage that I try out. This is just a premium plant showcase. Uh, it kind of shows showcases the plant's abilities across all eras. Excuse me. And so, one thing, this. I mean, fire plants are great for these stages because of the fact that uh, you they thaw out things and you have to do damage to the ice. And so, when you think about bringing in, you know, the snapdragon would be perfect here, but. Here's the question, you know, would something along the lines of a um, cold snapdragon be good here? And the question is, you know, probably not because one, any sort of fire is going to counteract anything that he does. And uh, two, um, he's going to, we need to somehow thaw out some of these plants, right? So we're going to need to somehow thaw out some of these plants. So the only thing I'm curious about is what happens if we bring in the hot potato? Maybe we imitate the hot potato even so that we can... Uh, so that we can thaw out those plants as we discussed. Um, but well, you know, what then happens if, I just wanna see what happens. Is he gonna freeze? I mean, he you would think that since he's a cold plant, he would be immune to being frozen, but I'm wondering, is that part of the mechanics of the game or not? And I'm, I'm gonna guess no, uh, but I wanna see it in action. So let's go ahead and, um, because these guys, you know, the zombies, the cold zombies are a little bit immune to the, to the cold. So I'm wondering if my cold plants are gonna be immune, immune to the cold. So let's rock. I, I just want to see. I'm not aiming to beat this. I'm just aiming to see this. So let's do what we can do here. I'm ready to test it out like immediately with this. Here we go. This will be good. This will be an immediate test. I'm going to go ahead and thaw these two out. All right, he's there just freezing. All right. Keep in mind, we're going to have to keep things defrosted. All right, so far so good, I guess. I don't know. He's shivering. You would think he was—he would be cold. Anyway. All right, we don't have to worry about anything quite yet. I'm just curious. All right, so he's doing some damage to these guys. He's kind of actually slowing them down, which is interesting. Can these guys be frozen? I forget. No, so they can't be frozen, but this thing does still slow them down, so that's good. They can be slowed. All right. All right, snowstorm coming in. Wow. Okay, look at that. See, I am glad I checked it out. Oh, see, they're not frozen, so I can't use them quite yet. Holy moly, so they're not getting frozen. They are immune to the cold. Well, this is a perfect thing, then. It's like I could just say, forget, forget it. Forget the resources. I'm just going to do what I got to do. And you're going to see me do it. Holy cow. Well, I'm amazed. Color me amazed. All right, these two are frozen. Thankfully, I duplicated my uh, my hot potatoes, so we're gonna be able to deal with that. I'm gonna slow him down even more. Let's try to slow him down again with this. It may not be enough, of course, but I'm gonna try everything I can to make this good. And see, this is why I'm glad I'm bringing it across all eras. I know it takes some time, but we learn new things each time I do. Things that surprise me. Like, I was just thinking about it, and I, you know, I, I hadn't even thought about it before starting this, before going in here. So look at what we've learned. This is awesome. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I took the time to bring it in. Sure, get them all. There you go. It's good stuff. 
Now who's gonna break through this? Like no one. Hot potato. I can't believe this. I like how the I, their ice breath breaks the ice. That's hilarious to me. No, that was that was nothing really. Oops. Oh, so this is just fantastic. I'm really glad I went for this and tried to showcase this. I really am. Oh, we got these mushrooms who are frozen. There we go, guys. Wow. Careful what you do. Wow. I'm so I'm so surprised at how well this works in Frostbite Caves. This is like the perfect plant for Frostbite Caves. Destroyed. All right, wow. I'm really glad I did that. I'm really glad I did that. There we go, so cool. Well, next up is, this is where it kind of starts getting, you know, mumbled up in my mind a little bit. Next up is, drum roll, is it Lost City next? Is it Lost City and then Neon Mixtape Tour? And then Jurassic Marsh? Is that how it goes? Because the order, like, yeah, it is. Good, 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 I got it right, Lost City. Now, this one, I imagine that the Cold Snapdragon's another perfect plant for this era because uh, this era is kind of all about um, having, you know, speed, like speedy things zip in, and then, you know, uh, you gotta deal with that. It's also about the umbrellas versus the guys with the shovel shields. And so I'm imagining that the Cold Snapdragon's gonna be able to affect those equally. Um, so let's try it out. I hope that it works. I'm gonna bring in what I think is gonna be worthy of this. Uh, I'm I am gonna try to uh, do that whole imitator thing with this. Uh, where's the tile? There's the tile. Here's the cold snapdragon. What else should I bring in? What what else would be useful here? Maybe something with a basic knockback. I don't know. Slow him down with that. Oh, like I said, we should really be trying to plan our synergies. Winter melon could work. Let's rock with that. Our synergy meaning that you know he can slow things down and he's. He's like a snapdragon, except he's a cold snapdragon, so he can work with wintermelon. So it's perfect. Anyway. Here we go. going well I mean let's fast forward <laughs> this is going well I don't know what else to say so yeah how do you how do you turn yeah so it just it's fine that she has an umbrella the cold snap can handle her just fine I should have brought in the blower oh my god I should have brought in the blower what was I thinking not bringing the blower all right slow them down that's okay we get to slow these all down that's fine I don't have an excuse for this. I should have brought in the blower. All right. Okay, this is getting kind of bad now, suddenly. All right. 
right. Man, this is uh, this is a fast paced one, especially since I have it all fast forwarded and whatnot. But I'm just saying. There we go. All right. No, darn it. Did I hit him? Did I hit him enough or no? Yikes. Okay, hold on. This is definitely tough. All right, we got Gargantuars on the top and the bottom here. We might lose some lawn mowers, but that might be it. I don't know. Yeah, we might lose lawn mowers. Okay, we know we got him. So gosh, the cold snapdragon is super helpful here. Whether there's a shovel guy or umbrella, I, I don't even see the shovel guys. Maybe they were there, maybe they weren't, but we did a good job. We did a really good job taking them on with the cold snapdragon. We got two more eras to showcase. Um, Jurassic Marsh, you know, we're gonna have part two of that next week, so I'm definitely gonna be bringing in the cold snapdragon. May not, but I, I'll go ahead and do a stage here, why not? We don't have, the thing is, is it's partial, you know, we, we already, I, I probably shouldn't do it. I should wait until uh, until part two's out and then showcase them during my part two series, you know? Anyway, uh, level 28, I think it's a good level for the Neon Mixtape Tour. Let's see what the rules are though, before we, before we kick it off. All right, yeah, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, plant food is gonna be looking good. And of course, you know, hey, let's go for it. I'll bring in anything I can think to the time warp, of course, yes. And uh, <laughs> here we go. Let's rock and roll. I have the intensive carrot, which would be good for healing winter melons or even cold snapdragons if it came down to it. Here we go. All right, we put him up there. He's gonna get him, I think, unless he's disabled. All right. Things seem relatively fine right now. We're taking these guys on, it's not a big deal. Oh yeah, the arcades coming out. They could be crushed by the cold by the arcades. What should I do to handle these? I don't want them to get crushed. I might use the uh, grape shot if I can, if I have it in time. Boom! Goodbye arcades. I love arcades, but sorry, we don't need you here right now. And we'll see if we get to use the time warp or not, or if we need to rather. Time warp. So we did need it. Look at that. We did need the time warp. All right. Boom. Took out a ton of them, though. Um, there we go. Yikes. Let's do it again. Boom, the grape shot. 
is probably one of the main stars here, but we're getting it done. All right, now we might want to start thinking about... Yeah, we're going to win anyway. This is so easy. This is so good. The Cold Snapdragon is so good. He is so good, guys. Trust me. I was just thinking for a second, why would I why would I bring him in if look at that. Decimated destruction. Yeah. Woo! -hoo. Boom, we're done. The cold snap dragon is amazing. What are you waiting for? Get this premium plant. The value is great. Guys, uh yeah, I'll be showcasing more of the uh of this cold snap dragon uh within Jurassic Marsh Part 2, which comes out next week. And uh, I might be a day late or so getting to the videos, but I'll have them up here on my Zack Scott Games channel as soon as I can. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Come back next time. Goodbye, and hopefully you found this uh, both an enjoyable and delightful and informative video about how awesome the Cold Snapdragon is. Goodbye. I'm Zack Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more of my videos, and if you want to find me on your favorite social network, check the links in the description. And here's Otto. <laughs> That's Egon. Those are my cats.